What's going on YouTube? And welcome to this setup video. I have been obsessing about the build accessories used in this video for a year now. And in fact, I was lucky enough to buy a few of these a week back. The point of this video is to give you ideas on what you can get to consider to expand your surroundings for a value build setup. For the choice of the motherboard, we are using the MSI Mag B660 Tomahawk DDR5 series. It's definitely one of the best at its price points. The i5 processors are designed with quality in mind and offers excellent value for your money. Core i5 features 4 to 6 cores designed to handle up to 2 threads each. Also, i5 is suitable and ideal for high capacity CPUs. It's reliable and greatly enhance your work. i5 and i7 are ideal processors for content creation or programming as because they are robust, sturdy and have better processing capabilities. They are ideal for coding and you can deploy them to gaming and business productivity tasks. These are high range processors that can make any computer fast and efficient. While we could have opted for any of the other water cooled options, the Deepcool AK400 is a single tower CPU cooler that perfectly fits the definition of a value built PC. Now installing it is super easy and pairing it up with two NZXT 120mm fans in a push and pull mechanism, it absolutely delivers excellent heat dissipation and extremely low noise levels. We opted for the Corsair Vengeance DDR5 RAM and the company is not a new name for enthusiast trade products. Whether you create content, game or open numerous tabs, this DDR5 RAM provides sufficient power for your complex tasks. Well, having a good amount of storage is a must-have when you're considering building a future-proof PC. And for that, we have the Samsung 980 Pro NVMe SSDs. Since our 12400F processor doesn't have an onboard baked GPU, we opted for the Zotac RTX 3050 Twin Edge OC Edition. It's definitely one of the best buys of the year, as 2022 is the year where the budget GPUs are making a comeback. The Zotac RTX 3050 is worth the run and it's available at the finest price points of the year post launch of the new generation of RTX GPUs. When it comes to power supply, consider yourself lucky if you have your hands on the EVGA. In our case, we opted for the 750 Bronze SMPS. Our model is non-modular, however, it's completely your choice to go for modular semi-modular or non-modular. After connecting all the components and the power supply to the motherboard, it's time for a quick check now just to test if all the components work seamlessly together before we place it all into the cabinet. And after I've maneuvered my way through the wires, here comes the moment of truth. The NZXT H510 Flow is a mid-tower cabinet which adds beauty to the performance with its sleek and modern look. You might not think about your monitor too much, but the array of pixels blasting light at your face is important. I'm using the LG 24-inch IPS LED display, which is a bezel-less monitor and does the job pretty well. If you're looking for a mid-price professional webcam for streaming, the Logitech C922 Pro HD Stream webcam is the sweet spot among various offerings. It does offer excellent video as well as autofocus and auto light correction and has two omnidirectional microphones and it has something that's rare in the Logitech webcam universe, a tripod slot. I love Razer goods for their performance and longevity and I've been using the Razer Sino Savvy to keyboard for more than a year now. It simulates a mechanical keyboard and the Razer Synapse application lets you change the key configurations and much more. Good audio is a must-have, whether you're streaming live or you're creating content. The Razer Nari Ultimate is built like a tank. They're fully compatible with the PC as well as consoles using the included wireless USB receiver. 
they have very low latency and are comfortable enough to wear for a while without causing too much fatigue. They have lots of customization options via the Razer Synapse app and their microphone offers decent overall performance. Of course, it's not hard to find any kind of speakers in various designs while I opted for the Nano K4. The legendary JBL sound quality and its accuracy is well known for audio production. The Nano K4 is purpose designed for professional studios, music class or home recording monitoring and has Bluetooth that supports wireless connection with a range of devices. Now drawing your attention to the peripherals and accessories, the Avengers Edition mousepad which I got from Intel is definitely worth a mention. Its vibrant colors gives great look to the desk. It's about 12 inches long and 34 inches wide which provides ample space for hosting my mouse and the keyboard. In choosing a good chair, you have to keep your spine in mind. The Cooler Master Caliber R2 makes a name for itself with a gracious amount of lumbar support and a questionable amount of purple. Being in the information technology space, I need to spend hours on my chair and often more than I use my bed. Thanks to its molded foam seat and metal base, it provides more space and solid support for your entire body. Everything about the chair is incredibly well made, easy to maneuver and comfortable. I will eventually build set in here to make more content and do smash the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video.